Hey there, hope that you're awesome, hope that you're well. Just thought I'd come here and share some, some gems with you uh, with just a quick conversation, just around dreams and the importance of dreams and how obviously you could actualize yours. Uh, currently, I own a thriving business. I've got um, a supply chain that is off the chain. I've just come from a very good relationship with my business coach, which has taken me you know, through the nitty gritty of how to develop a proper business. I can now say things like, let me talk to my accountant before I get to you. Um, and, and, and SARS is obviously taking notice of who I am as well. And I really appreciate where I am right now. I take everything that's happened right now in full gratitude. And I want you to actualize your dreams just as much as I am actualizing mine. But before I get into that nitty gritty, first, the highlight reel. So first things first, we have to realize three things when it comes to our dreams. The first thing that we have to begin to realize is that dreams start from a place of hope. And how I have discovered the word hope in my own life is understanding that where you are right now is not the full stop in your life. That there's more to you. There's more out there. There's more that you can have and there's more that you could actually become. I know you've pondered on the idea that here you are, you've just woken up and you, and you just ask yourself, there, there has to be more. There has to be more than where I am right now. There has to be more out there. And I know, I know it's there. I'm just struggling to obviously go and get it. And, and this is hope. This is where I believe hope comes into the picture. But hope is not enough because if you stick in hope, eventually you're going to get discouraged because you always think, I know there's something out there. But how do I get there is always going to be the question. And that question, if not answered, will always leave you in a space of a lull. And we don't want to lull. We want to move from the lull into a place of belief. And belief is the second step. And belief in this case is saying, could there be a system that can take me from where I am to where I could be? From what I currently have to what I could have. For me, that was, is there a way that I could become a business individual, an author, a coach? Is there a way that that could actually happen? And I had to go and find a system. And thank goodness that I found a, a brilliant business coach who obviously aided and embedded me to start thinking like a business individual, um, an accountant, an accounting firm, I should rather say, that is doing a brilliant job just around my numbers and so forth, um, and a supply chain that is off the chain as well. And all of these things, I obviously give full glory to God in this concern because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't be able to dream to the extent that I'm dreaming right now. So you have to find a system that works, something that will help you from where you are right now to where you could be. In my first book, When the Golden Goose Doesn't Lay Eggs, I call this the wheel of insight. And I've got five quick questions that I obviously ask an individual to start mapping out in order for them to find their own system. I'm going to leave a link below for you to obviously purchase the book and get those nuggets. But obviously it starts off with what do you want? And you articulating that to the finest of degrees and then going forward, forward with four questions that you need to answer in order to get your specific system. And uh, this system has obviously worked, which is why I am where I am. I mean, a book that was 15,000 words in total. I think about it. 15,000 words is not a lot of words. It's a very small book in that regard. But here I am, um, commanding fees that even I look at and go, wow. And that could be you on any day. At any time if money is not your thing that's fine too perhaps there's a there's something that you're longing for either a, a good relationship or a good health regardless of what it is that you're longing for you find that system for it and once you found the system it's not enough to find the system i mean there was a time when i read over 300 self-help books right uh, which was a lot of knowledge but sometimes that's where we stay we stay in a system um, or with a system that we understand and we're like, I understand the system, I know how to get there and guess what? We never act. And therefore, the third thing that we need to do is now have faith. And faith in this case is not you sitting down and, and not doing a thing. Faith is you saying, I have a dream, I have a hope that I'm going to get there, I have a system to get me there, and I have the faith that will get me there as well. And this is you taking all of that and beginning to start acting. Faith is about acting. And putting that which is in here into these hands. And the only gap that fills that 
is obviously that of work. You can't skip the work. So if you can do those three things for yourself, one, have hope that things will get better. Have hope that you can get what you desire. Have hope that you can become who you want to become. Find a system that will bridge the gap between your hope and it actually actualizing. And then the last is, of course, make sure by all means you have faith. And that faith will carry you through the toughest points in your life and will make sure that you will consistently adhere to the work ethic that it takes to actualize your dreams. All the best and I'll, I'll see you on the next episode whenever that drops. But for here and now, guys, dream, 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 dream. And then honor that dream by doing the work. Thank you.